in the second grade mind math book, we're going to work on pages 321 through 326 today. Read and write numbers to 1000. How can I use place value? So what we can do here is we can look at this chart and we can find patterns. If you look here, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. So you notice here there's nothing in the tens place until you get here to the 10. If you look down this column, it goes 10, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. And I know, sorry, you can't see that part right now. If you're looking at your math book, you can. So if you notice each row, each time we go down a row, we're adding 10 to every row. So there's no 10s, there's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and the ones place is staying the same, and the hundreds place is also staying the same. So that is a pattern that we could find. So if I looked here and I said 105, I know that this is going to be 115 because I'm counting by 10s, and if you add 10 to this number, it would be 115. So 115 goes right here. Now here, 131. Well, what comes after 131? One more, 132, and it fits because there's a two in the tens place here, so we need a three in the tens place here. Let's go to this missing number here, and I have 156 before and 158 after. A 47 is up here, and a 67 is right here. So 56, 157. And that makes sense because we're adding 10 each row. Now let's look here, 177, there's nothing, 179. So it's a number between these two. Look above, there's 68. Look below, there's 88. So I know that's 178. 198, 200. What number comes right here? 199. And you look above, there's 189. If we add 10, we would get the 100. 99. Okay, so fill in the missing numbers. Now read all the numbers from 101 to 150. So I want you to pause the video and practice reading from 101. Every number, read it out loud, all the way to 150. Okay? Color those numbers yellow. So you, if you have a coloring crayon or anything like that, you can color all of these numbers from 101 to 150. Color those yellow. Read the numbers 151 to 200 and color those green. So now is a good time to pause the video. And then when you come back, after you read those numbers, you're going to color all of the numbers from here all the way to here. You're going to color those green. And if you have a green crayon, use that. I have a green marker. Um, so I'm just going to kind of circle all these numbers and then shade this. It's not going to be as pretty as if I had a crayon, of course. Have a marker so I'm going to color these all green and then we're going to move on to the next page 322 so let's turn the page you can read and write numbers with symbols and words read 538 and write the number 538 so I would find 500 30 and the number 8 so this is how we can spell all of those words um, in spelling, if you were to write the numbers with numbers, you would just put 538. Because of their place value, it says what number it is. Read the number and then write the number. 38. 121. 121. Write the number in words and read the number. 7. 100, 10, there's no ones, and this number is 900, so I would just write 900. Talk math. Explain how you would write 62 and 602 using words. So 62, I would put 60 and a dash and the number 2, and 602, I'd put 6. Oops, 602, 600, there's no tens, and two, still two ones, 600, two. Sorry about that little scribble right there. On my own, read the number and write the number. 199, 100, 
99. 728. 728. 310. 310. 285. 285. 977. 977. 464. 464. Write the number in words and read the number. So we have the word right here, 1,000, and that is spelled for you right over here. 1,000. 718. 7. Oh, I can't see this part. Can I? 100. And then 18 is E I G H T. 18. 614. 6. 100. 14. 244 is 200. 40. 4. And the last one is 321. It's 321. Okay. Problem solving. There are 119 frogs in the pond. Write the number of frogs in the pond in words. 100. And I'm always going to go back and just check and make sure I spelled 19, N-I-N-E, 19. 19. So make sure I spell those words right. Amber is thinking of this word, 256. What is the number? 256. So write those in numbers. There are 427 geese in the lake. Write the number of geese in the lake. 400. 27. Why is it important to know numbers and their names? So we need to know the value and spelling of numbers to understand the math problems. and for the future. Think about when you're writing checks, when you grow up, you're gonna have to write those numbers out in the future. Let's work on page 325 together. Homework. Read the number and write the number. 235. 235. Up here's a homework helper. Sorry, I missed that. 954. 954. 467 is 467. So you can write the number out or we can spell it out. Let's do number three and four together. 146. 146. 321. 321. Write the number in words and then read the number. 680. Two. And then 431. I want you to do this one on your own. Try the next page together. There are 429 students at Lindell School. Cora wants to write the number in words to put in a newsletter. What should she write? 400. Marco lives at 931 Maple Street. Write the number, 931. Ronnie knows there are 365 days in a year. How could she write this number? 365 days. Circle the number that shows thousands. So I know this one is the hundreds. I know this one is the tens, because we've learned that. So this number here is 1,000. 